Hello everybody, this is the Cuartito Picker and welcome to another video and I know I've been I haven't been recording lately but um, I've been busy and I've been busy trying to find stuff to sell because my sales have gone a little bit down and I haven't had a chance to be recording and anyways, let's start this video and on this video we have some items that I found the flea market and I'm Ross basically yeah only in the flea market and Ross okay and maybe you're on this video I'm missing the the Pikachu figure and the Charmander figure but they're right there over here but I don't am let's just get started they're right there next to me but I forgot to put them on the video but anyways let's start let's start with the bottom items because they're all on top of each other. I'm gonna be getting get in by order so so they won't be falling away. Okay, the first item let's get the other one. The first item that I found on Ross is this Transformers Warp. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. The Netflix edition, and I found it in Ross for $16.99. $16.99, and this one I already posted online. I think I, think I already posted it online, but a bit more clear like this. It's a little bit dirty because I've had it in the bag in my storage, but I'm gonna put it. In the container as soon as I finish recording this video. Anyways, $16.89 is going between the lowest I've seen it is between $35 to $45, the lowest that have been sold. But there's others that have been sold for the mid section between $55 and $60, and the highest right now. But I've seen it sold for $70, 75 But I think I'm gonna post I think I posted it for 70 or gonna post it for 70 because I have found other ones. Other ones uh, on Ross you know, on the last video, but found more on this time. So I'm gonna be posting more. So as soon as I finish this video up, I'm gonna be taking pictures of each item so I can be posting on my curry. And on Facebook Marketplace. But anyways. I found this Optimus Primal. I'm not sure if I found one or two. Let me check over here. Yeah, I only found one. Uh, of the Optimus Primal. This is going to post it for. Most likely for 70 plus shipping. Okay. Okay, on the next item. Let me throw it on the side. Be faster. Next item is kind of the same edition, but it's the um, sparkly sticker. This one cost me the same price as the other one, $16.99. And this one is not going as much as the, as the Primal, but this one's going between the lowest, I think, of like $25, $25 to $35. Bucks. Mid section 35 to 40 and the highest is like maybe 45 50 bucks but I'm gonna post it for 50 plus shipping minus fees and everything most likely I'm gonna get like $42 for it like 40 40 42 43 dollars for me minus the 16.99 plus tax that I pay for it so there you go and this one I did find too they had like two like three more there but I left them because the box was, was all beat up in like over here in the corner was all beat up over here and all got crushed and i don't know normally i don't like to grab those those items <clears throat> or those items that are in very damaged in the corners but sometimes i do grab it if i don't find anything 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 at all in ross and there's that and then there's that item that i could sell and it's all crushed i if i don't find anything I'll buy them to get at least some some money out of it. 
because I'll, I'll sell it as the, um, the lowest I can to make a li little bit of like at least double my money on what I paid for. But normally I just get the mint the min condition ones, the mint condition ones, so I could like sell it for, you know, like I said, $16.89 and I post it for $50 plus, plus shipping. The shipping and minus fees and everything it's gonna be maybe 42 43 dollars for me minus the 16 and any cost that's like maybe one two maybe three times my money back maybe three or three point something my money back it's a good condition there's some you know cringes in the corners but nothing major still i'm in condition just a little over here you know damage it was already like that when i found it but you know it's not as much as the ones that I left. Okay, let me put this over here on the, the, the floor where I will fall down. Let me move this one over here because I have a loose, I don't have a lot of space over here in my room or where I record my room. And I have them all piled up, all the items are piled up on each other. So I don't wanna make. An avalanche here of, of items and get the items damaged. Okay. Let me, let me show you this one because this is a big, oh, not big item. Big, but not big. It's a backpack. It's a backpack from the Wonder Woman. Oh, hopefully you can see it because, there we go. The Wonder Woman backpack. things the handles over here this is from the bio war blah, blah, blah. bio world sorry about that this cost me for surprise well there we go look 9.99 this one this one the woman backpack put them more down to the other one is that blue this one the woman backpack $9.99 plus tax and I'm gonna post it for I was seeing some maybe like 20-25 bucks which is not much but I'm gonna post it for 30 and 35 plus shipping looks like they always it'll take a while but I will tell because it's Wonder Woman and it's a it's a cool backpack to be honest like for someone that likes Wonder Woman Anyways, but oh look, I didn't see this in the store. I don't know what this is, but it's like storage in the bottom. It's a zipper. I barely noticed right there, right there. Where this this thing in the bottom? Like a zipper. There's there's a zipper right there. I don't know for for what, but I guess I'll search it up. I guess I'll search it up later. I guess it's more. <laughs> And maybe that's why it's going for 25 to 35 bucks online. But basically, this buyer world is a good brand for 9.99. You cannot go wrong for 30, 35 bucks for selling it. Or selling it for 30, 35 bucks plus shipping. Minus fees, most likely you're getting like maybe 29.99 or 29 with cents. So maybe you just a little bit more more than doubling your money right there. It's worth it. Backpacks I do get, but um, I don't get a lot. But I only get like the Wonder Woman, you know, the <clears throat> the famous ones. Because I don't want to get like I've learned my lesson on buying all the backpacks I could see, just because they had a little, just because they were like Disney or whatever. But now I'm just getting like super super famous ones. Like I always say, Mickey Mouse one is really, really good. I'll buy it. Or like Pokemon. Pokemon, I always get them. But anyways. Let me finish with this item over here. Okay, let me get the, um, this other item. This other item for plush. I found it in the flea market. Found it in the flea market. is from Lil Lilo and Stitch. It's a big 14 about around 18 inches. 
Let me get the camera over here so you can see it well. I, I think it's Angel and look, it's a little stain right there. I need to clean it. I think you heard her name is Angel, I think, something like that. But yeah. This is the Disney from the Disney store friend. Disney store. Look the price in the store. $19.95. And guess how much it cost me in the flea market. It cost me $1. $1 for this 14 inch plush. And it's still fluffy. And I'm going to clean it up and everything. Most likely I'm going to put it in the... Um, and the washer. And you know, when whenever I do laundry, I'm gonna put it with my clothes and just wash it. But anyways, a dollar. And most likely I'm gonna post it for <sighs> if it's twenty bucks new. If when I if I wash it and everything comes out good. <clears throat> most likely I'm gonna ask ten, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars for the shipping. Looks like this is gonna be like a pound, maybe. Like a pound in in, in the post office and wait. So yeah, maybe maybe, maybe ten to fifteen dollars for <laughs> compared to a dollar. I buy for a dollar, sell it for ten, fifteen dollars, minus fees and everything. If I sell it for fifteen, I'm gonna get back maybe like twelve dollars. And if I post it for twelve or ten. Post it for twelve, most likely gonna be like nine seventy. If I post it for ten, most likely it's gonna be like seven ninety, something like that. But it's making money. That's the point. Very very cheap. I very very got it got it for very very cheap. And you're like making five, seven, ten times your money back. This little item like this is to help you post a little bit more your your store maybe not the, the, the plushes take a little while anyways but but for a dollar you cannot go wrong and you send it man you're already making 10 times 10 to 12 times your money back okay, let me put this plush short at the side oh, where it fall okay and the next items are two pets actually three but I found this pest and the Mickey Mouse, the Christmas pest, the candies, and the candies are not expired yet. It's till 2025. So that's cool. This one, I got it for $1. And I also found this frozen Anna. I think it's Anna. Anna, or I also have something like that. Yeah, it's Anna for a dollar too. This one I'm just gonna post them for five bucks for the shipping and minus fees and everything. Most likely I'm gonna get like three seventy or four dollars. But for a dollar, come on, they will go fast for most likely. And knowing that the expiration date is still to twenty twenty five, and Harry who doesn't like pets, as a giving them as a gift. The other one I found two of the Mickey Mouse, but the other one. I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna give it to my sister as a gift. But anyways, they had like a lot more, but I didn't want to go deep on getting more of the pests. The other ones that I that I saw in the flea market were like uh, Santa Claus, Rudolph, and and elves. That's why, that's why I didn't I didn't get it because I didn't think they were gonna sell fast, and I wanted, I, I was gonna be holding. That's why I got them, you know. Famous one like Mickey Mouse and Anna from Frozen. Anyway, let's get with the other item. The other item. Get this one over here. Is this Tony Hawk box holders? I guess they said in Walmart, just stick it right there. But this one I done. I thought I need to clean it because it's very dirty. Sean Hale said right there. Anyways, cost me a dollar in the flea market. And when I saw it, I thought I was gonna, I thought, I didn't, I didn't search it on eBay or anything. I just grabbed it. 
you know, a dollar and maybe this made me going for eight, ten dollars. And then when I got home and I searched for it, it's just going between maybe like three to five bucks online. But I need to clean it, really, really clean it. Looks very dirty, very dirty. I need to peel the two dollar, peel the two dollar sticker right there. And if you see them sharpie, I don't know why they do that. Now it's maybe because they don't want you to be searching online or I don't know. But yeah, I searched online and then you're going for three or five bucks. So I'm gonna post it for five bucks plus shipping. And I know I'm gonna be holding it for a long time, this one. But I'm gonna be taking it to the flea market to sell because I also sell in the flea market. But I'm gonna take it to the flea market and and sell it for maybe maybe three bucks. Maybe triple my money right there. Because my thing will go for three bucks. A kid will be like, oh, give me that, and whatever, you know. You know how kids are. But anyway, for three bucks, I think it will go in the flea market. But I'm going to post it online for five bucks. So get okay, maybe a little bit, <laughs> some cents more than the flea market. But anyways, yeah, this is the Tony Hawk that I thought. It would be like maybe... Maybe 10 to 12 bucks or 15, but no, it's going for three five bucks. The next item that I found is a, it's a kid's camera. It's a kid's camera. It's just VTech Kitty Zoom 1.38 megapixels. Found it. It was very dirty, it had like black stains right here and over here. They had a lot of black stains. But I already cleaned it and everything. And look, it's on. It works. Put batteries on it. And it works perfectly. I don't want to show you the picture because my my niece was using it and she was taking pictures. I don't know what else she was doing. What if we can say and it's her so she can play while she was here at the house. But anyways, it works. I put batteries in it and it works perfectly. So this one I got for two dollars. It's not cracked nor anything. The little screens right here. Or the screen or the front of the camera over here. So perfectly. It just need it just needed to be cleaned. Two dollars. When I got it, then the last one I got I bought it for three dollars. It was a blue one, and I was gonna sell it for fifteen, twenty bucks. But, but I think I gave it to my niece. Yeah, to my niece, I gave it to her, and it was working perfectly. The same. It just still uses and everything. And then this one, two bucks. So basically, I'm like counting the other one that I bought for three bucks. The other one. Just five bucks right there already wasted but this i'm gonna post it for ten dollars the shipping and then yeah ten dollars I, I was gonna put it for 20 because last time when i found the blue one it was going for 20 25 bucks the cameras this one's the vtech ones but they went down low in price once i got home and searched and i noticed it went down in price but you know i'm gonna post it for 10 maybe 12 bucks maybe 12 bucks plus shipping and get like ten dollars, ten dollars. And it's facing everything ten dollars. Maybe get like nine, yeah, like ten, nine dollars, nine and cents, almost ten dollars back. And make my money back on this camera and the other one I gave my niece. It makes a little bit a little bit more profits. But anyways, let me turn this off. There we go. The next item that I found are two plushes, another two plushes. The first one, I don't know her name, is a Squishmallow. It's a little bit dirty. I'm gonna put it also in the in the washer when I put when I do my laundry. Squishmallow, here's bread. Oh, Original Squishmallow. But anyways, for a dollar. I'm gonna post it for five bucks plus shipping. 
shipping most likely be like four ounces maybe because it's very light so most likely I'm gonna get like three to four bucks back so I'm gonna make making triple or four times my money back on this one and the other thing that I other plush that I got is from the Disney store too not more well, the brand is the where they sell the Disney store is this Figaro, I think it's Figaro from the movie Pinocchio. It's Disney. This one I got it for a dollar. It's a little bit dirty, but it's not as much as the other one, as the Squishmallow. And this one, maybe I'm gonna post it for eight dollars plus shipping. Cost me a dollar too. But yeah, for a dollar, I'm gonna get back maybe like, maybe like seven or six bucks back. So I'm gonna be making five, six times my money back on this one, on this Figaro. Figaro or Figaro, or I don't know how you call it, or how, how you pronounce it. But yeah, for a dollar, you're gonna go wrong. Okay, on the next item, let me put some at the bottom. Let me get the very top item right here. Okay, look. This is the next item I found and in the free market, I was gonna get another item, but I'm gonna show you some more items first. I found the free market. Is this Peach car? The Peach um, Super Mario car. But you know, because the movie is a Super Mario movie, a lot of things are going up in price of the Mario stuff. Especially, you know, Mario, Luigi, especially Peach and Bowser. More Bowser because of the you know he was singing right there the Peach, Peaches Peaches whatever song and well, while he was playing the piano, but anyways, but I do recommend seeing the movie. It's a little bit funny and cool. But anyways, you know this mushroom came out in the movie, so most likely most likely he will sell for five bucks. Cost me a dollar. Cost me a dollar. It was overpriced for me. It was overpriced because I normally. Grabbing for 25 cents or 50 cents, this one's in the flea market. But I'm gonna sell it for five bucks plus shipping, and so I'm gonna be making like three or four cents of money back on this one. And the next little item that I found in the flea market is this, this bootleg Gohan. I said bootleg, but I don't know, I need to zoom in with the camera. Later on, with the light and everything. It's a Gohan Dragon Ball Z figure, minifigure. And I won't say bootleg because in the bottom it doesn't... It doesn't say anything. And sometimes on the leg it says something. But I don't see anything with my eyes. So I need to see with the camera zooming with the camera. And see around the figure with the light on and everything. But anyways, it cost me a dollar. And... They're still going for five to eight bucks, most likely in the flea market, because you cannot go wrong with Dragon Ball Z figures and more if they're like vintage, like this one, because they don't make bootlegs like this anymore and this small and this small basically, and like this detailed. But anyways, this was cost me a dollar. Also, it was a little bit high too, but I didn't see anything because Dragon Ball. I'm gonna sell it for eight bucks. Eight bucks in the flea market, or maybe I'm gonna post it for ten dollars online plus shipping. So I'm gonna be getting like maybe, yeah, like seven, eight bucks the same as the flea market. But for a dollar, you cannot go wrong. I just need to put it in a little baggie, put on the name Gohan, put the price, boom, well, it will go for sure. Okay, and the next item that I found is the incredible. Incredible Hulk. This Incredible Hulk, the Kenner figure, for three ninety nine. This one, I, I bought five of them because I was thinking of selling the flea market for ten dollars each. What the what the retail price? What is in Walmart and other places and in other places like Target and this like that? They always have it for ninety nine. Ninety nine plus tax, but for three ninety nine plus tax. But yeah, let me take them. I, I only got the best ones. It was the five. They had like 
Uh, they had like 90 total, I think. But I only brought five. But I only put um, the best ones for $3.99. You see, compared value, 9 bucks. But normally they're like $9.99 in Walmart. But yeah, I'm going to put it for, for $10 on the free market. And I'm going to post it for $12 on, on, online. $12 per shipping to get 9 something for me. And me doubling my money right there. Or well, a little bit more doubling. Okay, on the next item that I found in Rust. Let me just get it because to grab it, grab it into the from the very top. Okay, it's the same item that I showed you. Well, not the same, but to fall down and put everything carefully sorry about that they're taking a while i found this bumblebeam transformers the studio series 49 this bumblebee as you can see for 9.99 this one is going between 9.95 and 95 sorry about that 99 plus shipping plus tax in in raw side obviously but online is going between 25 to 35 the 20 the thing that 25 ones are going like if the box is like damaged and i found this over here and, and found this one well i posted for 25 because i went to a comic con so it's the comic con but look damaged damage box it's a damaged box. This one and I found in a flea market. No, on Ross, sorry about that. <laughs> in Ross. For $9.99 the same price. And I was asking $25 in the flea market. I had two of them the same like this. Then tip. And this one, so I just bought the, you know, the damaged box. Because I knew I was going to go to the, to the Comic Con. And I found two of them, of this one, a damaged box. I found two. Yeah, I only found two of the damage box for nine ninety nine, and I sold one in the, in the Comic Con for twenty five for twenty five bucks. So I already made my money back for the two um, damage boxes, and then I found two that are not damaged for nine ninety nine, and those I'm gonna be posted for online for thirty thirty. Yeah, I think from 30 35 bucks. Most likely 35 plus shipping. And this one that I have still here. Most likely I'm going to post it for. Yeah, 25. Maybe 30 bucks plus shipping. Or 25. 25 plus shipping on, on the Mercari. And just double my money on this one. Because I already make. I already got my money back. And plus a little bit more on the Comic Con. The damage other one. But anyways, I found these two, well, four of them, two of damage, two of them in condition. Okay, let me put this over here in the sign. I don't want it to fall down, get more damage on the other one. Where do I put it? Where do I put it? I have a little space. Where, where, where? I guess, I guess I'm going to leave it one right here because I don't have space over here with me. All right there. Okay. Okay. The next item are transformers too. Let me just check how many star streams I got. Okay, so I got three at the star stream. The star stream, yeah. I got three at the star stream for $12.99 plus shipping. And I think I got three. So 
Star Scream, and I left like two more there, but the box were damaged. And you know, the box were damaged. I think I found at the same time I found the um, the bubble bees. But those, I knew I knew was going gonna go to Comic Con, but you know, bubble bees more famous than Star Scream in my view. If I'm wrong, you know, let me comment or something that I did wrong in leaving them. But they were damaged, they were crushing them in the corners, things like that. But for twelve ninety nine, Star Scream, and I'm gonna ask maybe thirty five dollars plus shipping on it. It's not much. It's gonna be maybe double my money right there. But you know, so doubling my money right there easily. And I found three of them in mint condition. And the other item is also is also a, a transformer. Okay. I don't want anything falling down that way. Hey, it's a sound wave. It's a sound wave, and it was a sound. It's a sound wave, and the price is for got it for twelve ninety nine. Also, it's a little bit dirty because I, I first took it to the Comic Con, I put it for forty bucks the Comic Con. I didn't sell, I didn't sell, I didn't sell any, any of them. I only have like two that I found you know, on the Ross. And then I went to the flea market where it's, there's a lot of dirt right there and everything. So that's why you see a little bit dirty right here. I just need to, you know, wipe it, wipe it down and everything. Quick before taking a picture and taking um, the sticker right here. But anyways, well, that's $12.99. Twelve ninety nine the sound wave and this one wanna post it for forty five I think forty five for fifty bucks plus shipping and I found two so with one I'm gonna get my money back plus a little bit profit but selling both of them that's already profits there are the profits and the last item well let me try to get it because It's not big, but it's big where it's big where where it was. The space was small for it to fit to carry it. Okay, I found this hole. Okay, let me get the camera. I found this hole in the flea market. That's two dollars. It's a bit dirty as you can see. I need to clean it. I haven't cleaned it. I need to clean it. I need to clean it before taking pictures of it. But yeah, for two dollars, you cannot go wrong. Found it for two dollars. And I know it's missing the controller. I didn't know it had a controller. I thought it was maybe just a controller with battery or a vehicle with. They will walk along when you press the battery, when you put the batteries. But anyways, when I when I got into my spot and started searching for it to see how much I could sell it for. They were selling between 30 35 bucks. Yeah, 35 to 40 bucks with the controller. And the controller itself is selling for 25 30 bucks, which is crazy for the controller alone. Because when I found out you need the controller, well, I'm gonna just buy the controller online. Sync it with this one and sell it for 30 bucks. But then I saw the controller for 25 bucks. 20, 25 bucks. So I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. But then I saw um, the vehicle by itself. In good conditions and everything. Cleaned. That's it. It is good, good condition. It just need to be cleaned. But anyways. Two dollars. It was going between, between 10 to 15 dollars the most, I think. But I'm gonna post it for twelve dollars plus shipping. Yeah, I'm gonna post it for twelve dollars plus shipping. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know for twelve dollars because it's kind of heavy. So it's gonna be maybe. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be in like a um, how you call it? The priority mailbox and the USPS. So it's gonna be maybe like ten, twelve bucks shipping. 
that's a lot of money, man, to me. But yeah, most likely twelve dollars for shipping. It's it's gonna take a while, but it's Hulk. You cannot go wrong wrong with Hulk, especially if if someone found the controller in the flea market for a dollar, two dollars, and then this is this is this one, they buy it. Boom! They can make money fast because the controller. If you find the controller for this one, and you buy it for ten, twelve bucks online. Easily, you can double your money right there. Because in the flea market, you can find it maybe like for two dollars, or maybe a dollar, the controller. If you find it, because the controller itself, nobody knows it's for this one, and the seller who's selling it most likely doesn't even know what's up. Maybe he just wants to make some money back. Money back fast. <laughs> but basically, you can find it for one or two dollars in the controller in the flea market. But I think that's everything that I that I have for this video. I set up a long video, but you know I got excited talking and showing you some stuff and explaining some stuff. But anyways, that's everything for this video. Thank you for watching this video remember to subscribe like comment and comment and and i'll be leaving my my mercari and store link and in the description and also i might leave some i might leave my facebook my facebook um, my facebook page for my store too in case you want to follow me there too and thank you again thank you for watching remember to subscribe like like the video comment and if you're a reseller hope you find a lot of little items like this or a lot of you have a, a lot of good luck in the flea market finding stuff and if you're a collector hope you find little deals like this too because you cannot go wrong you know getting this for two dollars Cleaning it and put on display. Boom. There we go. For your kid for two dollars, man. Two dollars compared to buying a new for 40 45 bucks in, in the store. You cannot go wrong. But anyways, thank you for watching. And I'll see you until next time. Bye bye.